Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to play the song Fortunate Son by Creedence Clearwater Revival. Let's get started. Before we begin, make sure you download the PDF transcription of this song. You can do that by clicking the link in the description of this video. Second, make sure you have your drumsticks handy so that you can play along with me as we work through the song. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss new videos. Okay, here we go. Let's get started by looking at the main drum beat that happens in this song. It stays the same for the entire song. And what you're gonna notice is that basically every line in the song is four measures long. We're gonna play this drum beat three times. And on the fourth measure at the end of the line, we're gonna play a drum fill. So here is the main drum beat that happens in the song. We're gonna be playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, one and two and three and four and we're going to be doing counts two and four on the snare and we're going to be playing counts one and three and on the kick drum so that would sound like this try playing along with me nice and slow at 70 beats per minute Okay, now we're gonna look at the main drum fill that happens throughout this song. This little drum fill is just three notes long and where the sticking that we're gonna use is right, left, right. Now this drum fill or a slight variation of it happens 11 times throughout the song. So you're mainly gonna see these three notes played on the snare drum. So right, left, right, all on the snare, but you're also gonna see it played where the first two notes are on the snare and the third note is on the rack tom. So we're gonna start by just practicing the version where the three notes are on the snare. So what we're doing here is we're playing two 16th notes and an eighth note, so the counting of the rhythm is four E and. So we're gonna play our drum beat for the first three counts of the measure. Doom, ba, doom, doom, da, da, da. So let's try playing this at 70 beats per minute. Here we go. Fantastic job with that guys. Next, we're gonna cover a new rhythm that uh, this is also very common throughout the song. So this is gonna happen on count two of the measure and it's playing an offbeat snare with the left hand, um, which is gonna be the last 16th count of beat two. So it's like this um, syncopation that would sound like this. One, two, and uh. Do, da, ga. So for this second drum fill example we're gonna practice, we're gonna do the offbeat snare hit on count two of the measure, and then we're gonna do the same three note drum fill as before, but we're gonna move the third note of the fill to the rack tom instead of the snare. So let's try this 70 beats per minute. All right, the next drum fill that we're gonna walk through is very simple. This happens twice in the song. So it's gonna keep that same offbeat snare rhythm. And then following that, we're gonna play two beats of 16th notes on the snare drum. Three E and a, four E and a. So it's basically just a single stroke roll for half the measure. It's gonna count one and two and a three e and a four e and a boom the key is to imagine that left hand snare syncopation that starts at the end of beat two dunes 
You have to visualize that as part of the single stroke fill. Don't try to hit the left beat um, snare off beat with the left hand and then start the two beats of 16th notes. That left hand is part of the fill. So it'll be nine snare hits total. All right, let's try this 70 beats per minute. All right, you guys are doing great. We've got just four more drum fills to cover. So here we go. This next one is gonna be the first drum fill um, in chorus one. So this is on page one of the PDF, and this has a fairly syncopated rhythm. It's all gonna be on the snare drum. So we're still leading with our same offbeat syncopation on beat two with our left hand. One, two, uh. But now we have a new rhythm following that. So it's three E, uh. So it's a 16th note, an 8th note, and then a 16th note. So we're playing the syllables 3, E. That second count, that second syllable, E, is an 8th note. So it counts for the syllables E and. So then the last syllable we're going to play is a. Uh. 1, 2, a, uh, 3, E, a, uh, 4, and. Then we finish with two 8th notes. So the sticking I like to use on this is we're still doing that offbeat snare hit with our left hand. A, uh, 1, two, uh, and then we're gonna go right, left, left, right, left. Three, E, a, uh, four, and. Let's try this 70 beats per minute. The next fill is at the very bottom of page one. This is the end of chorus one. Again, same offbeat syncopation with the snare. One, two, uh. Then we're gonna move right into two eighth notes on the snare drum. Three, and. Then we have this new rhythm for E. We're just playing the first two sixteenth syllables of count four. So we're gonna hit the rack tom, immediately followed by the snare. You're gonna see that that snare rhythm, it is a dotted eighth note. So when you have a dot next to a note, what it does is it makes that note value longer. It counts instead of just one eighth note long, it's one and a half eighth notes long. So it counts for the rest of that beat. It counts E and uh. So we're playing one, two, a three, and four E. Okay, snare, 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 tom snare. Here we go, 70 beats per minute again. Keep trying to play along with me. You guys are doing great. Okay, now we're on the next to last fill. Uh, this drum fill, a version of this drum fill happens three times throughout the song. And what we're doing here is we're playing um, eighth notes between the snare and kick drum, and then we're ending with um, a snare and then going to the rack tom. So at the top of page two, it just is an eighth note, snare, tom, but then at the bottom of page two and towards the end of page three, it does our three note rhythm again. Snare, snare, tom. Okay, so we're gonna be doing snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, kick, snare, snare, tom. One and two and three and four E and. All right, try playing this with me again, 70 beats per minute, here we go.
straight. All right, we're finally on to the last drum fill. This is on page three. It's the um, second line on page three. So this is uh, halfway through chorus three, and this is a full measure drum fill. It's the most difficult to play, but it's also the most fun. So the rhythm that we're gonna be doing with our hands is like this. One E, a two, and a E, and a four E. One E, a two, and a E, and a four E. And it's snare, 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 tom, snare, 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 tom, snare. Da 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 do ga ga sha ga do ga. The sticking I like to play is right left left right right left left right left right left. That causes your right hand to play the rack tom each time, and the ending little stream of notes it lets your right hand hit um, the tom on beat four, which it's always nice if your right hand is your dominant hand to try and land that on the beat as much as possible. So you're going to see, looking at the music underneath that, we have steady eighth notes being played on the kick drum. One and two and three and four and boom. So this fill has a really driving feel to it. Um, it's very easy to rush when you're playing this fill. That's always my tendency. So try to just stay right on the beat as you play this one. Here we go, really slow, 70 beats per minute. We're going to play the fill and then have a one bar count off before we do it again. All right, that is everything you need to know to play the song Fortunate Sum by Creedence Clearwater Revival. If you're ready, grab your sticks and try to play with me. We're gonna do the full song from start to finish. Here we go. Awesome guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Great job playing along with me and trying to learn this song. I'm super proud of you. Um, this song, again, like I said at the beginning, it's a great just study in single stroke drum fills. Very short drum fills, they're very musical. You can take these drum fills and implement them in other songs and other styles of music. So this song is definitely worth learning. If this song feels fast to you, which 
it is fast. That is totally normal. Just take your time and gradually increase the tempo as you get more comfortable. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in learning more from me, you can actually check out my drum book. This is the drum book that I wrote for my private drum students. We use it in our lessons every week. Um, so it's a PDF of the book. And then there are short video uh, playing demonstrations of everything in the book so you can learn. It's a beginner to intermediate uh, level book. So you can check that out if you're interested. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you next Tuesday with another video. Take care.